And now, here he is, the one, the only... <laughs> Nothing to shout about. There are a dime a dozen. Well, here I am again with $2,000 for one of our couples, and if any of them say the secret word, the duck will come down and pay him each $50.50. George, who's first? Groucho, Mrs. Sylvia Thompson and her partner Ben Zeppa are waiting to talk to you. Mrs. Thompson is a housewife and Ben is a schoolboy. So, folks, you come in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. Say the secret word and you'll divide $101. It's a common word, something you always have with you. Now, let's see. Sylvia Thompson and Ben Zeppa, eh? You make quite a combination there. Sylvia, how tall are you? I'm six foot one in my stocking feet and almost six four in my heels. No. Oh. Are you married, Sylvia? Yes, I am. Well, I have a little takes, girl. Okay, takes care of you. <laughs> you have a little girl? Uh-huh. She's five mm -hmm. months old. Five months old, huh? Oh, how tall is your husband? He's uh, six six in his in his stocking feet. No. Well, do you all walk around your stocking feet? Or <laughs> sure. Do you wear any shoes at all in your house? No, heavens no. Well, together you're 13 feet, huh? Yeah. Just about. <laughs> well, that's an advantage. At least you're never short at the end of the month, like most married couples. <laughs> How did you meet this dinosaur, Sylvia? B dinosaur? <laughs> well, this giant uh, that uh, captivated you. Well, we were at a tip-topper dance, and... Um, you were where? I met him in a tip-topper dance. Tip-topper mm -hmm. dance? Yeah, we were doing. So what do you do? Go walk around, tip your tops? Uh, no, that's a club. That's it's a club? That's a club for tall people. Oh. The girls have to be uh, six foot in their stocking feet. Stocking feet. Here again. we go again. <laughs> <laughs> well, you sound like you and your husband make an ideal couple, Sylvia. And if I ever wind up sitting in back of you in a movie theater, I'm certainly going to ask for my money back. <laughs> <laughs> your name is Ben Gazzara? Hmm? Ben Gazzara? Is that the name? <laughs> No, Ben Zeppo. Ben Zeppo, and eh? that's my brother, Zeppo. You're not my brother, are you? My name's Ben Zeppo. <laughs> you say the sacred word, Ben Zeppo. <laughs> so you and your partner each get fifty dollars and fifty cents. Okay, beat it. There you are, and you'll get the fifty cents later. We just don't have any change. <laughs> I didn't know what I said. <laughs> how, how old are you, Ben? Thirteen. Thirteen. You must lead a very clean life because you don't look a day over thirty. <laughs> you know, I never was thirteen years old. I was twelve once. In fact, I, I was twelve for about eight years. In fact, all the brothers were when we used to travel in Baltimore. If you were twelve or under, then you went on half fare on the railroad train. <laughs> and for years, we traveled this way. I remember once he, uh, we were, my mother used to travel with us and we didn't need her, but she thought we did. Huh? And the conductor came along and asked for the tickets and she gave him four half fare tickets. And he says, where are the kids? And she says, well, they're around the train someplace. And uh, he looked in the washroom and Harper was shaving in there. <laughs> this is true. And, uh, and uh, the, other, the other two boys were in the baggage car shooting dice. I was making a play for a dame across the aisle. <laughs> the conductor come back and says, Mrs. Marks, if, if these kids of yours are under 12, I'm too young to be running this train, and he jumped off at the next station. <laughs> so, actually, how old are you, Ben? 13. 13. Now, you're sticking to that story, huh? Mm -hmm. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Now talk slowly so I can get this stogie later. I have uh, three brothers and... Talk slower. I have three brothers and one... Okay, speed it up. <laughs> I have three brothers and one sister. Oh, you're speeding it up. Oh, how do you get along with your brothers and sisters? Okay, all except for my little brother, six, Jimmy. He, I tell him to come in the house, and I go and get him, and he won't come, so I hit him, and he starts crying, and... He comes to my mother, and my mother gives me heck, so if I don't get him, I get heck, and if I get him, I get heck. <laughs> well, do you always have to get him? <laughs> Isn't there any of the other uh, brothers that could get him? No, I'm the biggest. I'm the only one that can get oh, him. Oh, you're the... <laughs> you're the only one that can handle him, huh? 
Well, you have to realize Jimmy's just a baby. You should never hit a little kid like that. The thing to do is to disintegrate him with a ray gun. 